Hey Leo, this is your daily read for July 12th. Take it resonates, leave the rest. All right, what do we have going on here for you today, Leo? All right, already off the top, we have the Six of Wands and we have the Fool. So that's, I mean, that's really good. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. Woo. All right, so there is a sense of victory of you taking a chance on something. You're moving on with your past. You're moving on from your past. We also have the Hanged Man. But you're doing it with confusion and you're doing it with a bit of depression. It's like, I know I need to move away from this. I know that I need to keep things going. I know I need to keep the steady flow. The Seven of Cups, your head and your heart aren't matching. It's like your head's telling you to go, but your heart's telling you to stay. Um, with the Five of Cups, you are feeling depressed about this. You're like, I really don't want to go, but I'm forced to. In order to grow, sometimes you have to show other people where you're at. And I feel like that that's what you're doing. You're like, I don't want to show you the side of me. I don't want to cut you off. I don't want to do any of that. But I'm being forced to. You know, they're... it cracks me up when people say, oh, okay, you're just going to leave. Um, yeah, but think about how much I have to endure before I leave. You know, like, people look at the action of you leaving versus looking at the action of what did they do to make you want to leave. And I feel like that's what's going on in your head. And that's what has you all hung up. We have the temperance card here. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You don't have to be. But you're looking for harmony. You're looking for peace. You're looking for balance. You're looking for somebody who compliments your yin or your yang. And if you can't find it, guess who you're going to find it from? Yourself. Bottom deck energy is the lover's card. So... You're trying to find balance within love. And if you can't find that balance, if somebody can't be your counterpart, then you really don't want to put the energy into it. You know, right now you're looking for a partner who is wanting to put the work in with you. No relationship is perfect. No person is perfect. But it's choosing the person that you're going to go through things with. Who are you going to go through things with? When you look across the table and you see the person that you have been spending so much time with, pouring so much energy into, is that the person you can rely on? Is that the person you can talk to about anything? Is that the person that you can trust to be there for you in the deepest, darkest moments that you have in life? If the answer is yes, then that's wonderful. But if the answer is no, this is what has you thinking. It's like, just because you love a person doesn't mean that they're good for you. So in that sense, with the Six of Wands, that is a sense of victory. That is a sense of you realizing something. You are, you just won a round of a battle that you have been fighting. And you're taking a chance on, this doesn't feel good. But in order for things to change for me, I have to welcome change, even if it depresses the shit out of me. Even if it confuses me, because I want to be here, I want to love this, I want to be in this situation, but I want it to be positive. I want it to be healthy. And if it's not positive or healthy, that's where you're looking at it and you're like, yeah, it really isn't. The hanged man is about you having the knowledge that you need in order to make a movement. You already have it. You're stopping yourself. But with the temperance card, you want everything to flow good. You want everything to balance and, and come to light and, and move in a positive direction. The lover's card here, you want your best friend. You want somebody that you can, you know, go through life with and you can look to them 
on your proudest moments and know that they are so proud of you. They are so encouraging. They are so supportive. You are craving somebody to be supportive of everything that you do. You're looking for somebody who's not going to who's not going to hide you. They're not going to care about what other people think because they are attached to you. You know, they are, you know, they're just going to be all around there for you no matter what. You have no fears with this person. You can show them off. They can show you off. It's not going to be that big of a deal. You're not going to have to fight them on anything. And there's going to be trust. You know, there's going to be trust. The lover's part is all about building up that trust. It's all about, you know, having things very cohesive. If that person is not around you, you can trust that they're going to protect you if anyone is attacking you, even if you're not in the room. And I don't feel like you've had that. Because that's what you're looking for. And I think you're realizing that you haven't had that th this whole time. So it's like being supportive, needing to be supportive or needing to be supported just like you would su be supportive. Let's find out what energies we have going on around you, Leo. What energies is around Leo right now? We have another Leo popping out. <laughs> so this could be you showing up for yourself. Sagittarius had the same thing. Um, let's see. I'm going to laugh if Sagittarius pops out because we have the Temperance card here. We also have Aquarius. So... That's what I have for you today, Leos. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.